Getting cut sucks. It's hard, it can be embarrassing, and you might feel like you're missing out. And I know this because I've been cut on multiple occasions from multiple different sports teams growing up, so I know how you feel. But believe it or not, this can be a good thing if you allow it to be and you take the right approach. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to handle getting cut, and then tell you what to do to make sure that it never happens again. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna link our video on how to be a standout player so you're gonna wanna watch that as well. So you just got cut and I know there's a lot of emotions running through your body right now. You're feeling pain, anger, sadness, you're a little bit embarrassed and your confidence is down. And I know your first instinct now is to start pointing out players on that team that made it that should have been cut over you. Or maybe you're making excuses and now you're pointing the finger at the coaches or the politics and just trying to justify why you didn't make the team. But trust me, this might be tough to hear, but you didn't make it for a reason. And that reason might be you need to work on your hitting, your fielding, your throwing, your pitching, your work ethic, or even your attitude. So the reality is you didn't make the team and there's nothing you can do about it other than do some self-reflection and identify what it is you need to work on. And if you're unsure of why you got cut, don't be afraid to ask the coach what it is that you need to work on and what your weaknesses are. But parents, this doesn't mean go to the coach and start complaining why your son or daughter didn't make the team and start standing up for them. This does nothing but damage and could ruin their chances of making the team in the future. Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team and do you know what his mom did? She told him to work harder. She didn't call the coaches saying that he deserved to be on the team. She said to get to work and make the team next year. So now that we've identified what your weaknesses are and what you need to work on, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get to work. You have a year until next tryout, so you need to grind and bust your butt and leave no question for next season. Work harder than anybody on that team. Work harder in the gym, work harder in the cage, work harder on your nutrition. Use getting cut to light a fire inside of you to come back bigger, stronger, faster, and better than anybody on that team. Turn getting cut from being a negative into a positive. Not making the team can build character and it'll teach you that not everything in life is handed to you and it teaches you how to deal with failure. The earlier in life that you learn that failure is a part of success, the more successful you'll be down the road. Every winner fails, every loser fails. The difference is that the winner gets back up learns from his mistakes and his failures, and does it again. So don't quit. Don't let this situation hold you back from a ton of great memories and experiences. If I were to quit the first time I got caught, I would have missed out on so much, and I wouldn't be where I am or who I am today without those experiences. Now, if you not only want to make the team next year, but you want to be a standout player, click the link above and I'll see you guys next week.